Hi, welcome to a Great Car Basic uh, tutorial. Um, I'm just going to take um, five or ten minutes, no, even seven minutes max, uh, just walking you through installing and using the Microchip Express Board. Now, let's be quite frank, I have got a typo there. It's not called that at all, is it? Let's just correct that live. It's called that the Express Board. Okay, this product was released in uh, early uh, 2016, and this is our support for Great Car Basic for it. So this is the board. It's um, in this, it, the core of it is a 16F1855. It's got a riser board for uh, adapters. It's got some LEDs, a potentiometer, a switch. It's got um, what some LEDs. I so said this, this riser board allows you to do some adapters. Put some adapter board on there and uh, a temperature sensor. So uh, let's install Great Car Basic and um, see how it all works. Okay, great. Um, we install it. I've got a copy of Great Car Basic installed. I'm quite lucky. I happen to have it laying around so I can just install it. Um, um, select next. Accept our license agreement by reading it carefully. I will speed the video up here. Thank you for reading the terms and conditions. Um, that's the guys that bring you the build. I'm very grateful to, great, grateful to them. And then where I'm going to install it, take the default, please. Um, it's going to create a start menu folder. It's going to create some icons. I'll have some icons, please. And it's going to associate it with the Great Car Basic um, extension. And what is really important that you select, if these aren't all selected, so if they're not selected, you want to make sure you select them, especially this one with respect to this board. Install Automated Express Programming Utility. I will select it. Install Automated Express Programming Utility. I'll install the rest anyway, because uh, I might need these programmers as I do my work, right? I'm not going to install portable mode. I'm going to press next, and then I'm going to install. I'm going to stop the video while it uh, goes through the install process. My computer is extremely slow. Um, it's actually doing it quite quickly. Um, so I will I will pause the video and then at the end of it I will just come back to it. There's no trickery going on. It's currently installing. Um, you've just installed 400 no about 900 chip files for microchip and Atmel 8-bit um, microcontrollers. Um, they will not all new this release, but quite clearly the, the uh, Express board is a major release for us because it's got uh, lots of new fun functionality. Just installing all the other programmers and once that's complete it's going to give us a nice little message and then take us into the IDE. So here's a release announcement. You should read this carefully. Uh, this is also repeated in a moment. So I'm going to press next, finish and it will take me into the IDE. On the left you can see it's created two icons and I'm inside the editor. This is the IDE. Um, I'm not going to go too much into this in terms of the tutorial, but to create a hex file, I press the green button. To create a, a hex and flash something, I press the icon next to it. So how do I go about doing this? Okay, pretty simple. I'm going to open up an example file for this board. I'm going to put that in as the basis. So we're going to close everything down, right? Just because it's dead easy to do that, right? I'm not spending any time introducing the rest of that stuff that was in there. I'm going to view a demo and I'm going to go to the vendor boards. Okay, they were sorted by, they were just sorted that way. Okay, look. Um, you can say some other stuff in my in here. I go vendor, the vendor boards. Okay, this is an express evaluation board and I'm going to take a very sophisticated temperature sensor alarm and to a serial terminal. Okay, and I'm going to see if it compiles. I know it's for the right chip. Here it is. A bit of an explanation about it. at the top. I am going to create a hex file. Can't program it yet because I haven't changed the programmer. The default is a pick kit too. So I'm just going to change that programmer. It's a few seconds. So I know it compiles because I've just compiled the file. So how do I change it? Inside of the IDE I select the GBASIC icon and then edit pick programmer batch file. Or I can go IDE Tools, GCB Tools, and do exactly the same thing in, when, in here where it says Edit Pick Programmer Batch File. Edit, edit the Pick Programmer Batch File. Edit the Pick Programmer Batch File. Two ways of doing the same thing. 
your um, at line, um, let me have a look, line 18, there's the express loader lot. So that we've developed a tool that will program it automatically. Okay, so you don't have to find the hex file. I'm going to remove the rem statement. It's in blue now, meaning it's live. And I'm going to come down here, look for the other blue one. And I'm going to put a rem in front of the pick kit too to turn it off. So all it's going to focus on is flashing my express loader using the utility we've developed. Okay. Let me plug in my board. Okay. The board's not plugged in. I'm going to plug it in. Press the board. Bit ink. It goes on my computer. And I get a folder, an autoplay folder down here. Look, oh. And it's got the HTML file that's on the default. Okay. Up the top here, very quickly, what I'm going to do to shuffle things around for you, I'm just going to program it. I'm going to program that hex file. Okay, that, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to, silly boy, I'm going to close the, the batch file down. Here's my program. It's going to compile it. Create the ASM, create the target hex, and then it's going to move the target hex from my hard drive automatically onto the pit onto that device and there we go so that is programmed it it's pro done the whole thing for me okay how do i know it's done that well this program is running a, it's got a serial output my demonstration was temperature alarms to a serial terminal so let me open up a serial terminal i am not the wrong program i'm going to open up a putty session on com9 and I'm going to open it up at 19200. So I've opened up, I've connected the terminal um, to, the, to the device, press reset, and I'm operational. Now, you might not believe me, right? That's pretty hard to do. Um, so, because you don't necessarily believe that it's working. So let me take another demo very quickly, right? See what else has got a serial output on it. Okay, I went to a Maker Faire recently, hence what you can see. Something with serial on it. Oh, we'll do a discovery on the um, I2C, right? Okay, that's quite cool. Show I2C two devices to the serial terminal. Another program. So we'll set up for you so you can, uh, we will document this in our documentation on the website very shortly. We set everything up for you. You can then program it. Because this is the purpose of this is showing you that batch file. So how do you program things? So it's create. It's just um, compiling it. It's going to create the atom and create the hex, and it's put move that hex file across into there. It's done it already. And if I look inside of here, I've now um, got uh, the uh, only two ports are alive. Look, two addresses are alive on the I2C bus because he's just done it. If I press the reset button on the chip on the board, look, does it again? Look. And the autoplay runs up at the top lot. So it's quite simple to do uh, using Great Car Basic. If I, if I want to come across to um, my previous piece of code with respect to um, my to respect to my temperature sensor, if I just press the flash button here, flash, all I'm going to do is flash it. As you can see on the terminal, I've got it operational. So what did I want to show you? Very quick demonstration of how to install and use a, a microchip express board. Just to remind you, the thing to edit is the uh, pick uh, program batch file, look for the express load line and just unrem it out and make sure that nothing else is active. Won't do any harm, but you should uh, remove anything else. So this is the operation to move your hex file, your source program file into the target device with that. We'll call it a wrap.